main action was? What was the main thing that happened? Well, the Coke bottle came out of the Coke machine. Yes. Main simple action. And yet there was all that elaborate detail. There was all the little people and the things and the weird stuff going on and the different stages that the Coke bottle goes through, right? The commercial that we just saw is very similar to the Rape of the Lock in that it's a mock epic. Everything is exaggerated and um, there's way, 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 way more detail than we need in, in the poem. And we go into magnification and um, all kinds of stuff. So think of the Rape of the Lock as one giant cartoon. It's very cartoonesque. It would, it's just crying for animation. Um, there's also, if we want to do this, there's a lot of Disney references that we can come up with. So we'll, we'll be playing Spot the Disney in just a minute. Um, Pope has created a world of sparkling motion and glittering light. So it's very, very light-filled, very happy. Um, funny, humorous, light, fluffy poetry. And yet, there are underneath, underlying, some very simple actions, such as the Coke bottle falling out of the machine, that happen as we read this poem. So we've got to keep an eye out for the underlying simple actions. Now, we've got near constant magnification of size and significance. So that's one, one tool that uh, Pope uses. Um, there's an introduction of these little fairy creature things. They're called sylphs. And there's a whole little hierarchy. And so the size and significance reminds me of, I hope you're of the right generation. Who in here saw Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, or Honey, I Shrunk the Kids Again, or Honey, They Shrunk Me Back, or whatever they're called. OK. So in terms of magnification, in terms of all of a sudden, there's moments when you're like, you get shrunk to that tall, and everything looks massive. And Pope does not hesitate to go into great detail about, oh, look, this is a bottle of perfume. <laughs> and it's, it's 12 feet tall, and we will go into every single detail of what this entails. All right? So you've got magnification, and then you've got these sylphs who remind me an awful lot of Peter Pan's little friend. Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. You've got Tinkerbell all over, except it's confusing because he's a boy. The main one is a boy, and his name is Ariel. So wow. go figure. Who's Ariel? Disney the little mermaid. The little mermaid. Yes. Yes. So they borrowed her name from Pope. Okay. Somebody at Disney borrowed her name, but they gave it to him. It started out as a boy. So just the confusion a little bit. There's also, we talked about battle, right? There's a fight, and it's, it takes place on a card table between cards. Disney? <coughs> Disney Alice reference? Alice, 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 Alice in Wonderland. Off of her head, yes. Yes, we've got cards going at each other. It's terrible. It's so, you know, a massacre on the, on the velvet uh, playing field. OK. So the, there's also an ongoing battle of the sexes. Okay, because, yeah, you've got the girl, and you've got the guy, and you've got the guy who wants to impress the girl, and you've got all that going on, and you've got um, these very protective sylphs who, who are, interestingly, only visible, here's another very social message, only visible if you are a chaste person. So, Pope is saying all kinds of things on many different levels about what he expects of women. Women need to be chaste. Of course, I'm not saying anything above my position because all young women are chaste. So therefore, the logic is you must be able to see these things. They're everywhere because we are all chaste individuals. Of course, if we're in high society. All right. So um, let's turn to the actual. Have your books open? Mm -hmm. The actual Canto one. Would anybody like to read? Um, I would like to read. You would like to read. <laughs> All right, so if we look at 121, and now unveiled the toilet stands displayed. 